Hey, it's Larry. And my friend Dave asked me to do a quick tips video for people that are going to be on camera. My area of expertise, I actually just wrote the book, Great on Camera. And one of the things that I cover in the book, I cover in my live videos, I cover in uh, classes that I've recorded, is that there are a lot of things that go to the viewer subliminally. A lot of things, uh, and, and this is just part of human nature. We understand eye contact, and if people are looking away, we understand that you should probably be smiling when you're talking on video just to make a better connection. But one of the things that people don't always really understand is they work really hard to get the lighting in their environment just right. But if you think about it, if somebody is sweating when they're talking, this is a subliminal thing. It's a subconscious thing. But if somebody is all sweaty when they're talking, you're not really sure you can trust them. They look a little nervous. Maybe they look a little uh, slimy almost. And what I can tell you is I've got studio lighting where I am. The lighting is great, but I have a problem. And that is cameras can't pick up the full spectrum that the human eye does. And so cameras, when they see something that gets really highlighted a lot, because of the light and things like that in studio lighting, uh, you can see on my forehead, I have shininess. I have shininess on the tip of my nose. I am absolutely crystal clean. I, I took a shower this morning. I washed my face and my face is clean and dry and it still looks shiny. It's because I have pretty smooth skin here and it's just really shiny. So what's the cure? This. I use uh, makeup. And if you don't, if you've never worn makeup before, and before I started doing videos, I had never worn makeup. You just go into CVS or Walgreens or Dwayne Reed or wherever, and you say, I need some foundation powder that matches this skin tone. And the people there will help you out. And so I just found one that seems to work for me. And I like it because it's a matte powder and this is a pressed powder. And so it's really easy to carry around and you put it on with a little pad like this. And so I want to show you what it's like and what the difference is. So look at me right now and you can tell I'm not really trustworthy. That guy, Larry, looks like he's sweating. So watch what I do. And actual people that wear makeup, my wife watches me do this and she cringes every time because uh, I do it wrong and sloppy and uh, overdo it a little bit. So I'll just show you what works for me. Okay. Uh, there's a, an area that they call the T-zone. And it's mainly right here and right here, but the tip of your nose also. All right. Now you see, I've got powder on and it's knocked down the shine, but it's also blotchy. You know, the powder just kind of is caked up there a little bit on the tip of my nose, on my cheeks here and a little bit into my eyebrows. So now what I do is the thing that makes people cringe. First of all, I put on too much, uh, but that's just what I do. Then I just go like this and just kind of even it out. That's the main thing. All right. So I've still got a little bit of shine right here. I might need just a little more powder for that part of my uh, head. There we go. And just kind of even it out. Okay. So that knocks down the shine and everything looks okay. A little bit extra in my eyebrows. There's a little bit of powder collected in there. So you can just get your fingers wet and, and rub and that'll take out the powder. So that's it. That's my tip for today is if you're going to really light your environment and you're going to be on video, especially business videos, recorded videos like this one, where you're talking to people, you're trying to connect with an audience, you don't want to look untrustworthy by being a little too shiny. Or you might look like you need a shower <laughs> if you look a little shiny. And that just happens automatically. And again, most people are not going to be looking at the video going, oh, that person looks terrible. But what they will think is just kind of at a subconscious level, I'm not sure if I trust this person. So this is just one more thing you can do to increase the look looking better on camera. And it's super easy, very cheap. This stuff is like eight or 10 bucks maybe. And it'll last me years because I don't use it that much. I just use it for these kind of simple videos. Hope that helps. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me at greatoncamera.com. There's a form over there that you can send me an email if you have questions. Greatoncamera.com. Thanks.